Good morning YouTubians, it's Kermit's Ghost and it's a different kind of video for me today. I'm doing a Blu-ray review and a collaboration at the same time. Collaborating with Big Paulie, Jamie Powell and The Blue View and we're all going to review the film Colour Out of Space. Links to their channels will be down below. This stars the notorious Nick Cage and it's based on the HP Lovecraft book. So I'm going to pop this in the Blu-ray player and hopefully it's a good film and I'll give you my thoughts after. So on the Blu-ray you get a lovely Move menu and it's interesting to note there are no special features. You get Play Movie, Scene Selection and Setup and that is all. And I'd like to add we don't often get Nicolas Cage movies released on Blu-ray anymore in the UK. Usually they go straight to DVD. Okay, that was quite an experience. Now let me tell you first of all, who is in the film? Obviously we have Nick Cage playing a character called Nathan. Jolie Richardson is playing his wife, Teresa. He has three children. Madeline Arthur, I think that's how you say her name, is Lavinia. You've got uh, Brendan Mayer who plays Benny. Julian Hilliard who plays Jack, that's his children. You've also got a character um, played by Elliot Knight. He is called Ward, he's a hydrologist. We will come to him later. And that's pretty much all the characters you need to know in the film. Plot-wise, we find out that Nicolas Cage and his wife and children have moved from the city to the countryside uh, to live off the land. They've got alpacas and they're drinking the alpaca milk and they're growing vegetables because we find out that the wife had cancer or still has cancer and they're just trying to live the clean life. The eldest daughter is practicing Wicca, which is a form of witchcraft, and the opening scene of the film, she is doing a ritual to try and, pure, uh, to try and cure her mother of any cancers. And that is when we're introduced to another character called Ward, who is a hydrologist, and he is testing the waters around their land because there's a possibility of a hydroelectric dam being built in the area, which could affect their property. Later that evening, there is a purple hue in the sky and a loud crash, and you find out that a meteorite has landed on their front lawn. They investigate. Uh, Nicholas Cage is affected by the smell. He's the only one that is affected by it, and it all starts to affect them differently. Later on in the film, we're introduced to another character that really doesn't have much bearing other than like comic effect. He is a squatter that's living on their land. He's called Ezra. He has a cat called G-Spot and he's there i think for comic relief and a bit of quirkiness but bear in mind that nicholas cage is in this film you've got all the quirky that you need plot wise i will leave it there because if i go any further you're going to go into spoiler territory and i don't want to do that acting wise in this film well to be fair if you're going up against nicholas cage you're kind of at a disadvantage because he overshadows everybody in the room that being said, I would say that Jolie Richardson's part was pretty either poorly written or poorly acted. Her character just seemed unbelievable. Um, probably the best character for me was Ward, the hydrologist. I thought he had uh, the best lines and he was the most believable. So what did I think of the film? Well, it's an hour and 51 minutes and the pacing was pretty good, I thought. Obviously, at the start, you get character development, but after that, it picks up the pace nicely. Sound-wise, I have a surround system with a sub and there are two key elements to the film. I think uh, the meteorite landing, which is full of bass, which was nice, and the ambient noise in the ending, um, lots of detail within that. Picture quality was beautiful. This was so crisp and clear, and even in the dark scenes, you could pick out lots of details. Effects-wise, they definitely use CGI. As to whether or not they use practical, I'm not sure, because there's no extras on the disc. I think they do, though. Uh, there was a couple of scenes I'm pretty sure they use practical, and it does look good. No matter what, all the effects are brilliant in this film. Did it entertain? Well, in short, yes, it did. Now, it's billed as a horror fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy and sci-fi, I can see, have creatures, that are new you have time space altered but horror side i don't see it at all i scare easily at horror films and this didn't affect me in one way whatsoever would i watch it again without a doubt yes i'd probably leave it for about a year till i've forgotten most of the story and then i would gladly put it on and watch it all over again
so that is my review of Color Out of Space. Now you can see why I don't do this normally on my channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And check out the other guys that are doing the same review of the same film. Really appreciate that too. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Hit the bell in the corner for notifications of further videos. And once again, I really do appreciate you checking out my channel. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.